assalamu alaikum welcome uh, welcome back to medicine by chips basically today we are going to perform the uh, jugular venous pressure practical and basically what is uh, you can say that jvp jvp is basically the jugular venous pressure uh, this is coincident or you can say that associated with the right atrium pressure uh, in normally uh, the patients of in the patients of right atrium basically there is slight regurgitation of blood in uh, from the right atrium into the jvp which causes pulsation to be visible and slightly higher or you can say its wave comes in uh, its, wave is, its wave is visible. Now, uh, what happens if uh, this experiment com comes into your exam and you have to perform it? So, let's perform it. So, uh, now the, mo uh, the most important thing about the practical is the position of the patient. Uh, this is the sitting position and if the person is totally lying on the table, the, if the table, if this bed is going to be flat, then this is called recombinant position. And for JVP, the patient or the person should be in the semi-recombinant position, which is the this position almost, uh, there is angle of 45 degree. Now, uh, if, uh, if this uh, experiment comes into your, into your exam, then you have, first of all, you have to uh, take the consent from the patient just like this. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Well, My name is Muhammad Haris. I am from first year. I am going to perform the JVP experiment on you. If you have any problem during the experiment, you can stop me. And also, uh, you have to tell to the examiner that sir, I want proper exposure of the patient. And if the patient is female, or uh, then you can say that sir, sir, I want proper screening. And also, a female nurse is also present there. Uh, now, basically, first of all, we want the proper exposure of the patient. For this, we untie the shirt. Uh, then. Uh, now uh, basically this is uh, this is the notch present here which is called jugular notch and the levis uh, and the angle of sternal angle is almost five centimeters below to it now uh, how to perform it basically we have to place some uh, uh, scale in the vertical position on the sternal angle and also you have to ask the patient to turn your face towards left side please now if you have uh, placed the uh, uh, face of the patient on the left side then you have to place the, uh, another scale or pencil or some like a long thing uh, just uh, add the 3 cm or 4 cm of the uh, scale and you can see that and uh, you can um, take it to the almost um, later to the atom sample so this is then is almost uh, 3 uh, cm okay now uh, what happens basically uh, in this patient or in this person basically this wave is not visible because it is a healthy person and the blood is not regurgitated uh, there is no regurgitation of blood from the right atrium into the JVP so in the for this we have uh, this is uh, we have if you want to see the wave of the JVP we have to put some uh, slight pressure on the hepatic which is called a hepatojugular uh, wave so if you press pressure on the hepatojugular uh, wave uh, we can see that there is a uh, very slight pulsation seen over here now this is uh, this is also another method method to see the wave. Basically, uh, if you put pressure on the this is supra clavicular fossa, if you put pressure on the supra clavicular fossa, and then there also be mild uh, pulsation seen over here. Okay, uh, but uh, in the patients of right atrium uh, disease or right heart defect, this pulsation is very much visible, and this is very important uh, symptom or uh, or sign for the uh, physicians to identify the right uh, atrium disease. Uh, now the JVP is further consists of three waves that is A wave, C wave and V wave. A wave is basically due to the right atrial contraction, uh, the V wave is due to the filling of right ventricle and C wave is due to the choroidal tricuspid wall. Okay. Now uh, if we, uh, we have performed this experiment, now what is the result of this experiment? Basically uh, we, uh, the length of JVP should be less than 9 cm aqua. So uh, in the healthy uh, persons uh, there is no um, this, this length is almost normal and in this, in this patient it comes out to be almost 8.5 cm of aqua. So you can tell to your examiner or observer that this, uh, that, sir, uh, this uh, uh, pulse or this length is almost normal and the patient is not suffering from any right atrial disease. So in the last part you have to say thank you to the patient, thank you sir and uh, this is all about JVP. If you have any queries or questions you can uh, type it in the comment box. Thank you.